And we're back with some more Clash Royale level one account. <laughs> yeah, that's great. All right. I love this game. I've been playing a lot lately. So here we go again. Yeah. Woo. Lilo. Probably. Well, definitely my newest uh, clan member here, but probably my biggest Clash Royale fan as of right now that I know of. We're going to be taking a look at his replay because he's level four, shared it with a sad face. I know he, wait, actually, <laughs> I think he loses. Um, so what I want to do is uh, just as a little tribute to him, I want to watch this and uh, go for some analysis here. See maybe why he lost. So he is level four in the bone pit. Nice, nice. Going to be starting off with the spear goblin hunt. Maybe? Okay, wow, okay, so right off the bat, <laughs> the Spear Goblin Hut in the back, not a bad play. Uh, it's 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 risky though. Um, as an opening play, you don't know what your opponent has at all. You don't know what their win condition is. You don't know if they have uh, a rocket or something to hit that building and your tower for a one elixir like negative on them but they do a ton of tower damage which would suck you don't know if they have you know minor or you know anything like that so playing this right off the bat in the back is a little risky and it just so happens that he your opponent uh played the prince here at the bridge and and then he saw your your spear goblin hut and goes in with the mini pekka as well and this is a nine elixir push that you only have what six elixir to defend let's see what happens archers are down gonna absorb the prince shot there prince is still gonna make it to the tower as well as the mini pekka so could you have done better no i think that was a pretty good defense there it's just the fact that you had played the Spear Goblin Hut already in the back, not knowing what your opponent had. A Wall Breaker does connect, though. Minions are going to slap away as well. And the Archers are going to get some chip. He's going to go Hog opposite lane. You do have the Hunter. Play it. Play it. Yeah, okay. Uh, he does get two swings. That's brutal. I think you could have played the Hunter a little bit faster, and he would have only gotten one swing, which wouldn't have been as, as bad for you. You do play the Knight in front. That is really good. Hunter's going to get some splash onto the tower as well as the opposing hunter. He does arrow as well. So now you are up in elixir. That's a great place to be. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you set up again with the spear goblin hut. Let's see if you get punished for it. You are up in elixir this time. So keep that in mind. Does pull the mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, well, archers come down anyways. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. But now you're down in elixir. He fireballs. He doesn't hit your hut. What is this? why okay and then you go really aggressive with wall breakers at the bridge both of them connect a very very nice play um you were i think you were up and he he had just played something on defense again you play the hog and he had just played the archers so that tower is done though very nice so you're up two towers here essentially not much you have to do on that left hand tower so at this point just play defense again you're playing the 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 hut in the back um maybe you could play the hut in the center in front of the king tower to help pull his hog when it eventually comes in and now it does hunter is already down though so that's nice for you but you're you're attacking before you finish defending i don't know if i like that i mean you defend just fine anyways but you didn't have anything to support that knight you did get uh, the mini P.E.K.K.A. pulled away from him. Ooh! Okay, that was a pretty nice fireball from him. He should have hit your minions and your archers, but he hit almost all of them anyways. Hunter down for the hog. Nice. Hog to distract the supporting troops, and you're going to get the tower. That's good. I like that. It's a nice play. Wall breakers, right side. You're still putting the huts in the back. <laughs> you got to defend this tower here. And playing the building in the back is not helping your case. You're already winning right now, so I'm not sure why you're going for the three crown unless you have a crown chest you need. But you're still not defending, you're just attacking, and it's a base race, and he beats you. So, it was close. <laughs> it was close. I mean, three health, I don't know how much closer it gets, but hey, is what it is, I guess. 
Um, yeah, so maybe maybe try putting your building in front of the King Tower and maybe see if you can get some elixir trades um, that benefit you on defense so that when you're up an elixir, you can translate that into a offensive push that helps you take the tower. And that would be all I say for you. And, well, we, we definitely don't have a quest. Um, all right. Yeah. So the goal for this video is to get to 1500. That would be nice. Um, I'm expecting to lose one here because, well, I'm on a win streak and I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up. <laughs> I'm expecting a loss because it could happen and I don't want to be super sad. I have the Mega Minion, but I do have a Zap Poison and a Tombstone in hand. So I don't really want to play it, but I will. Why, man, people just sit and wait, I guess. Which is not always a bad thing. I'm confident I can defend that. I'm gonna apply pressure. Prince at the bridge with a Megan minion. Have the zap in hand. He gets the P.E.K.K.A. down just in time. And now I'm gonna pull this Valkyrie with the tombstone, have the witch down as well. Well, I was hoping the witch would uh, help with the Valkyrie here. This is not looking good. <laughs> well played. Zap comes down, goblins are still gonna be alive, and this is why we expect to lose one. That's in on the Mega Minion as well. That's GG's, there's absolutely nothing I can do about this. All right, we shake it off, move on. Good luck. <clears throat> Man, I wish I could have that one back. <laughs> I could have played that better. I could, I, it's just all bad for me. And that's okay. It happens. Um, he had he had a pretty heavy deck, so good on him for waiting and seeing what I played. Good luck, Jojo, Jojoa. All right, Mega Minion or the Witch? Probably gonna go with the Mega Minion. All right, now I'm gonna go with the Witch. Skeleton Giant. Okay. Okay, I don't think tombstone is enough to take out or distract and take out the hog So I do have to play a mega minion there hog still gets a swing Eh, could have been worse. I think uh, I don't want to play a whole lot into this uh, Giant skeleton because he's just gonna blow up everything and it's all gonna die So I'm gonna save my poison for the witch as well because it won't kill her And now I have the baby dragon and the prince to play on defense wall breaker does connect Uh Okay, but we will have the uh, barrel to go in on offense here. Actually, I'm going to poison the hunter here. Prince, kill the skeletons, hurry! <laughs> I wish that my baby dragon was taking out the skeletons instead of just hitting the witch, but hunter is left with one health and will die to my tower. We are definitely down an elixir, though, so definitely have to defend here. Definitely down an elixir. Definitely! Okay, okay. Well played. Not good, not good, we lose tower here. Valkyrie is hitting the witch and the tower. That was a misplay. Uh, the witch should have been played further out, I think, or maybe even further back, just so she wasn't being shot as well. Mega Minion is down, but is gonna die to the witch. And I have to defend this witch. Because she's level eight. Because she's a witch. Uh, tombstone to hopefully pull the skeleton. Giant, it does. I'm gonna print as well. I just wanna keep that skeleton giant away from my towers and hopefully away from all my troops. Zap is late and the prince dies for it. I didn't have the elixir there to do anything about it. Giant skeleton is now being tanked for by the skeletons. Well played, my mega minion gets one shot by that hunter. Yikes. Yikers, as they say. Hunter finally goes down. He's This guy is playing it. He's playing it good. He's level five too, so I should have expected greatness. Wall breakers and the hog rider. Probably because he knew I would play the tombstone and or he wanted to close this one out quick. I do have the Valkyrie dead, okay. I do have a witch, but it's playing into his witch and a hunter. That's good poison value for me, but I really need to get damage here. Zap comes in and Valkyrie is hitting both my troops again. Another well-played Valkyrie. And there's just not enough time for me to... He's, he's playing really good defense, and so I can't even get to his tower. I'm going to try to prevent the three crown, though, because it's embarrassing. Good game. Oh! Okay. 
Don't laugh. Good luck. Whew. Shake it off. Shake it off. Whoa, oh, oh. Okay. So now we need three wins. What do we have? 1429? Yeah, probably three wins to get to 1500. All right. Good luck. All right. So the only card I could really start with is the witch. Thank you for playing a card. Whew, it's the night. Level six, but he's gonna die because he's on our side of the field. Archer Tower is helping out, and the skeletons are definitely gonna be able to distract. So we are now up three elixir. Let's prince. Let's play. Let's be aggressive. Now I have the poison or the zap, depending on what he plays. Nice musketeer gets shredded. That is four elixir that he just gifted us. Thank you. I'm gonna go aggressive here. And he princes. All the skeletons are distracting. Prince dies. And now we are looking very, very dominant here. I do have the zap hovering over. Just kind of waiting to see what he plays. And the baby dragon's tanking for the skeletons. Skeletons are getting a lot of jabs in. And the witch is going to close it out. Good game. Well played. Good luck. So, you know, uh, it happens. <laughs> You win some, you lose some. You win some in two seconds and you lose some in, in 10 seconds. That's the name of the game <laughs> when you're level one. All right, good luck. Musketeer, cause she's showing excitement. And I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, a really decent starting hand actually. Maybe, I haven't even thought about what the best starting hand for this deck is. I'm gonna wait a little bit just so um, those troops can come on over to my side I want to be defending this for sure I'm gonna baby dragon as well and then he's gonna poison oh I want to poison as well I'm not going to I'm not going to it would not do enough for me my witch dies shooty tooty lemon fruity uh, Prince does luck onto the witch though so that is really good for us Prince is gonna go down hunter I hate the hunter I hate I don't I I hate the <laughs> I hate the wizard more, but the hunter is very much so up there with cards that I very much dislike and Now I'm scared very well played. Oh my gosh, and the witch gets taken out. Does it save the tower? Yeah, but was it worth it? No, I don't know. I really wish I had my witch <laughs> Shoot, okay, uh, we have a poison I might have to, I have to, just to help take out the skeletons, get the baby dragon breath onto the baby dragon as well as the witch. I have nothing else. He poisons anyways. The zap was an overcommitment. Should have just eaten the damage. Um, okay, so we haven't done any damage to him. I think I think I can win this. Thumbs up. <laughs> when you're nervous, thumbs up. Or CRL number one. Okay, Hunter. Don't like the Hunter at all. Terrible card, just kidding, he's good. He's just hard to deal with as a level one. He's like one shots everything. Even if he's not great against it, he still just one shots it because he can. All right, this is, all right, I'm liking this. I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Hunter, please die. Oh my gosh, he took out my prince and he's still alive. Die. Okay. Uh, he poisoned only my witch. I'm gonna baby dragon. 36 seconds though. We are back to another witch. Okay, he's gonna throw a skeleton army at us. That's really good. Three elixir in our pockets. I am not gonna tombstone this. Please die. Does hit the skeletons. 25 seconds. We have to make it to his tower. We do have the prince poison goblin barrel combo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's just not enough time. He's just stalling with troops. Look at my massive push. Break through. Please! Zap! Zap! Go! Die! Goblins, please! Baby dragons, please! No! <laughs> okay, good game. Alright. One more. Because <laughs> I'm not doing well. Okay. Uh, wait. I don't know what we started at. Let's get back to where we were. I think one win and we're, we're basically back to where we were. So this will be an offset. You know, you win some, you lose some. We're losing like 20 trophies and we're winning like 30. So even if we had a one-to-one -one ratio, it would still be good for us. Hacker 
Good luck. With your hacking, Baby Dragon's my real only play here. I could go aggressive with the Goblin Barrel. I th man, I think I said that in in one of these videos too. I was like, I need to split lane pressure more because I dur, 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 and it's like I'm not even doing it. So let's go. Baby Dragon should die. I mean, wait, no, the Baby Dragon should survive. Prince is gonna go. Bada bing, bada boom. He does get a big connection and I'm gonna have to zap this. I did play the Mega Minion. I could have zapped, but I'm good to this. We did some damage. We took some damage. Mega Minion's still alive. Gonna need a response. Actually, maybe not. His tower is that strong. Yikes. I guess, or rather my, uh, my Mega Minion's that weak, if you will. Now we have the witch. I like having the witch. <laughs> Makes me feel good. Okay, I'm just gonna start with defense here. I don't know if he's leaking elixir, if he was that far down. I don't think he was that low. Tornado! What are you doing? That didn't do anything. Now deal with this, you poop. <laughs> oh God, minion horde. Oh! <laughs> dead, dead. Baby dragon breath, wizard shot, dead. Tower down, I'll take it. You know what? We're up in elixir. Chuck a barrel other way. What you got for it? Absolutely nothing. All right. Okay. Hey, you know what? Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't like either of you. My two most disappointed cards. The but <laughs> what? Poison zap, and they still don't die, and they both get shots. All right. Level eight skeleton army. Yikes. That is something to be proud of. Tornado. Okay. Uh, he's not using the tornado properly. I'll tell you that much. I can't wait till I get the tornado Um, Yeah, I'm gonna let that go. I mean which she can she can hold her own here. He minion hordes as well I will zap Prince takes out the hunter good for you My good sir baby dragon should be able to clean up that tower which is down I'm gonna poison as well helping to secure the tower and doing some damage on that witch. Unfortunately, she is level eight, so it's not doing a whole lot, but she is weaker than my witch now, and he's just, he's scrambling now. This is this is a scramble here. I, you're playing the battle ram far back, I don't know why, but we do have the tombstone, thank my god. And zap down on the mini horde. Oh wow, battle ram does connect, but it's not enough. Good game, well played. I can't say the same for me with this one but it was a lot of fun we did get to review lilo hopefully you can learn something from that my dude and we lost some we won some and that is the well that's the reality of ladder really uh you're never just gonna win them all so but in my heart i expected it and oh wait oh wow we're at wait we're at 467 and like our peak is like just barely ahead of that okay so we're we're ending like almost exactly where we started so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed let me know in the comments below if you didn't let me know in the comments below give me some feedback what would you like to see more of what would you not like to see more of really do appreciate it and again thank you for watching until next time god bless stay hydrated